Howdy fellow Sublimation peeps. In today's video we're going to be printing a Sublimation treat jar. The folks at Condi Systems were nice enough to send us some nice Sublimation goodies um, and while I know technically this is a pet product, I do have an idea for it that's going to make for a really awesome centerpiece for a table for like small candy and things like that. So that's exactly what we're going to use it for. Um, overall these things are amazing, have a little cork top on them. But, uh, but we'll go ahead and get into the design, the, uh, the the prep work, and all that. So without further ado, this is how you do it. All right, guys. For today's video, it's going to require a lot of different things. Um, we're going to be doing the the oven method. So we're going to need an oven. We're going to need a thermometer. Uh, we're going to be cutting the paper with our trusty paper cutter. Obviously, you're going to need the, uh, the piece to die sub. Gonna need some tape to hold it in place while we while we do the shrink wrap. We're gonna need the uh, and this shrink wrap's from Condi. You can you can pick it up when you're picking up the pieces. It's it's called Subla Shrink. Uh, it's part number SF79. Um, good stuff. Works just fine. Uh, it it looks a little big, but you'd be amazed what shrink wrap can do. Um, something to sub. And last but not least, a heat gun. Mine is a Warrior brand. Came from Harbor Freight, like 19 bucks or something like that. Good stuff. It'll it'll serve you well in your hobby. All right, guys. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this out. Actually, I can just leave it in the package and measure it. That way, I don't get fingerprints on it. We're gonna be using just our measuring tape, and we're just gonna measure it and see what we got. We're just gonna lock it at about seven inches. And we know that this is gonna be, that four inches is more than enough. It's gonna cover us on both. And we know this little lip part right here is gonna stick down about an inch from where we go. So if we if we center it along this three inches at the bottom, I think we're good. I think that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, diameter wise, we're looking at around three inches, maybe three and an eighth. So that's gonna give us about a, you know, nine and a quarter inch uh, thing we're not going to get anywhere close to that. We're probably going to design something that's like uh, probably three inches by something like four or five inches. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into the design, and we'll uh, we'll get that going. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I already had the design made out ahead of time. I went ahead and did this on a four inch by six inch, um, six wide, four tall. Um, and what I did, I, I did an inch down to get to allow for the little, for the little lip there. And then I just centered it on the remaining three inches and just made it as, as big as I could. And what I also did, if you notice, there's a small gray line that I, I will cut right inside that gray line right there. Um, and that will allow us a way to, to, um, consistently line that up on the print. And we're going to be doing this on a sub paper. We'll go through the print settings real quick. A high quality premium presentation mat, which I may regret that later if it if it smears because it's got so much ink. Um, a better way to do that may be just a high quality plain paper to put down a little less saturation for the ink. Have less of a chance of uh, blurring and such. Um, ICM and automatically mirror image. I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the printer and we'll we'll see you on the other side. Guys, the first step is to go ahead and cut the paper, so we're going to go ahead and put it on there. We're going to butt it up top. And since we did a gray line, we're going to cut right inside that gray line so we can line it up perfectly. There we go. Nice clean edge. That was not my best cut, though, if we're being totally honest. This time we're going to be a little more aggressive with the cut. We're just going to cut this. This is a terrible angle, I'm sorry. The important thing is to get all the gray off of it. And as you can see, when you cut it, no gray line, no gray ink. It's just how we want to line it up. It's kind of a template for us. 
All right, guys, now that we have that together, what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, pull this out. Go ahead and put some tape on it. We're, we're using a sub paper. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. And we're just gonna get it taped on this. We're gonna put it right up to the bottom. Try to get everything nice and neat and centered, just like that. We're just gonna press it. And we're gonna do the same on this side. We're gonna try to just wrap it as neat as we can. Nice even seams are what we're going for. Like you can see how it's pretty well even. Not quite. We're going to move this side down a little bit. And you, you'll reposition it a couple times, but you'll get you'll get what you want out of it. Yeah, that looks like way better. Now's the fun part. We go ahead and uh, do the good old shrink wrap. Give her a good shrink wrap. So we're going to go ahead and take our shrink wrap. Um, this is kind of the easy part, to be totally honest. Just slide the sleeve in there. Be careful with it. We're going to put a glove on our on one hand. Because when you're heating stuff the heat with the heat gun, it gets a little warm. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And you can kind of see already how things are going with it. And it'll get really tight really quickly. And the goal is to get it nice and tight. There we go. Easy stuff, man. Easy stuff. And there you go. You got it nice and tight around there. And we'll go ahead and set this aside for right now. All right, guys, the next step is to go ahead and preheat the oven. We're going to be preheating it for as close to 400 as we can get it. I know sometimes we have a little problem with them. So we'll go ahead and just close that and let that preheat. We're using a Hamilton Beach Easy Reach oven. Uh, there will be a link in the description below for that. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and let this, let this heat up. It's getting pretty close to 400 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and stick it in here. Um, we're going to do it at 400 degrees. Uh, for right around, we're going to try 10 minutes because I don't, I don't believe my oven actually gets to 400 degrees and holds it, uh, which the instructions on the website say 400 degrees at nine and a half minutes. So we're going to go 10 minutes at about 375 to 380. So here we go. All right. All right, guys and girls, we're exactly halfway, so we're gonna reach our hand in here and we're gonna turn it 180 degrees. Just like that. And we're gonna set it for another five minutes and we're gonna be good to go. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this thing off of it glove up they are extremely hot much like coffee mugs and everything else they are absolutely terrible sometimes but we're gonna go for it and what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to just take this get a cut in that and just kind of rip and we're gonna try to do it that way And 
and again it's very very hot so you may need to set it down a time or two to get some uh tell you what this is what we're gonna do we're gonna change gloves too all right we're ready to grab again got a nice cold glove on And just as expected, faith, hope, and love looks pretty clean. Let me refocus. A little blur on faith where it didn't quite get the pressure we wanted. But overall, black and sometimes black and white things are the easiest or the most difficult to actually make. But it looked, for a first try, never touching these before, not a bad thing. Not bad. Overall, guys, this thing turned out pretty good. A uh, couple small problems, but nothing, nothing major. Nothing that keeps me from using it. I absolutely love it, and I know my wife will be really thrilled with it as a centerpiece for our table. Um, but and shout out to Condi for for making this happen. Shout out to them for some uh, for the submission goodies. Um, everything from this video can be found in the, in the description below. Links to everything, the product, the shrink wrap, the oven I used, everything. Um, so yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. And if you, help, if you found this video helpful, uh, feel free to like it and also subscribe to the channel. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.